there is this another AI code editor which is a web-based AI code editor it's called base44 and it's very similar to lovable and bold.new I was just thinking that this is just another web-based AI code editor but it was recently acquired by wix.com for 80 million dollars I mean that's unbelievable so that's why I was like okay let's just go ahead and try this tool and see how this is different than lovable and bold.new so I developed these couple of tools one of them is this like transform your living space where you upload a photo then you just like choose your own style and then it can give you like interior design ideas about your living space. after building a couple of projects i realized okay this tool might be a little bit different than bold.new and lovable.dev so let's just dive deep and find out that how this tool is different than bold.new and lovable.dev so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and if you're not following me on x please just go ahead and follow me on x all right so to start using base 44 just click on the link in description or you can just like go to base44.com after that you can simply just click on this start Start building and then you can just like sign up using your Google account and then you can just like start using this tool absolutely for free they have these paid plans as well but I recommend you using the free plan first and then like try it yourself and then maybe like we can think about upgrading to the paid plan but for now just to test you got like 25 message credits which is like more than enough for you to, to try it for free and build something using this tool all right so once you're signed up you can see this is how it will look like which is kind of similar to bold.new and livable.dev and from here it has this styles instruction you can actually choose a style for your website so maybe you can like create something like this maybe like this kind of design so let's just like choose this style and after that let's just like give it a prompt to create something maybe something like personal finance so let's just click on this personal finance and then we can just choose maybe a budget planner expense tracker investment calculator debt repayment planner okay this is kind of cool debt repayment planner okay so let's just press enter and let's just see if it can create debt repayment planner right now you can see so far it is very similar to bold.new and lovable.dev okay so after just a couple of minutes this is what it has created so far so good the design looks amazing and you can see it has just added this mock that as well let me just click on this add that i can just like add my name and then just like add any balance in here add that and now you can see it has just added that that okay another unique thing about this tool that actually makes it different than bold.new and lovable.dev is let's suppose if you just want to like share this project with anyone else so so you can simply just click on this share button and then it will show you this share screen and from here you can simply just copy this url and now what you can do you can simply just open this url inside your browser so let's suppose i'll just enter this url in here and now you can see it has this login system already implemented which is amazing i mean i did not ask for it i just asked it to like create that certain app i did not ask it to like add this authentication module but it has already done that which is which is amazing so now you can simply just click on this continue with google you can then sign up using your google account and now you can access this tool absolutely like just as a normal user and now you can just like start testing it okay another unique thing about this tool that actually makes it different from bold.new is once it like created that tool once it like creates your project after that there is this workspace section inside this workspace section you can actually manage a lot of things so you can just like click on this user section in here and you can find your complete user dashboard in here and then you can find your all of your users in here all of your app users in here i mean traditionally we'll actually create an, an admin dashboard separately and then link that with our front end project and then you have to like create a database and then you have to like create backend services something like superbase or something like neon.tech and then you can actually create a backend and then you can actually create this kind of like admin dashboard where you can manage your users so right now you can see i signed up using this particular email address so it has this user in here and then it has like assigned it as my admin because the first user who signed up will be the admin and then after that all of the other users will be signed up as normal users now you can actually assign user roles from here i can change the user role from here from admin to user so all of the admin dashboard functionalities are already developed in here for my project then there is this data section and inside this data section you can see all of the tables like chase freedom credit card and then there is student loan personal loan auto loan and then like so the another like sample loan that i added so all of that data is stored in here again i did not have to like integrate any like third party database or third party backend services it was all done by default 
by Base44, which makes it unique than any other AI code editors out there. Similarly, there is this analytics tab that actually tracks your user analytics for your project. And then there is this domain section. You can actually connect your own domain name. Then there's this code option as well. So you can directly like customize your code in here. You can like directly change your code in here. If you want to like change anything directly inside your code, you can like change it in here. Then there's this another exciting thing, which is like API integration. So now if you want to like uh, fetch these stats or like connect this application with another like application, maybe you're building another like front end application or maybe like another mobile application. So you can directly integrate this API and then fetch all of this data in another application. So all of these unique features actually make it different than bold.new or liveable.dev because the complete admin dashboard management is done by this tool. But to be honest, there are like pros and cons for this thing. So let's suppose if you are like a complete beginner and your only goal is to like develop your project and then launch it quickly as soon as possible. You don't want to like build your complete backend by yourself or like you don't want to like build your complete admin dashboard by yourself. You want everything fully ready and prepared. So yeah, sure, go ahead. You can just like use this tool. But the problem is now you're fully dependent on this platform. You cannot switch from this platform. You'll have to like keep paying your monthly subscription because on the free plan, you cannot connect your own custom domain. So once you have launched your project using this tool, now you're stick to this tool. Now you cannot switch from this tool until unless like you completely rebuild your admin dashboard separately. But honestly, this is very convenient. If you're a completely beginner and you have no idea about backend development, you have no idea how to use database. So yeah, sure, you can just go ahead and like use this tool and then let this tool to manage everything by itself. But if you want more freedom, you want to like self-host your own project on your own server, then this might not be a good idea. I'll actually create more videos on this tool. So stay tuned. We'll actually create something more serious and then try to launch that project live. So I hope you really like this video. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.